Hi there, everybody. How are you? I really do think this is the most wonderful time of the year. I absolutely love it. I am here for everything Thanksgiving and then go right into Christmas. It is just such a joyful time. It's a great time to just uh, try to be mindful and think of something that you're thankful for. I saw, you know, the little memes. If I find it, I could possibly pop it up here. It says that happy people are not thankful but it's thankful people who are happy. You gotta start with that thankfulness first. So, uh, you know, wake up every day and just try to think of something that you're thankful for. Maybe you're thankful that the sun is shining today, or you're thankful that it's raining because we do need rain where our, I think all of America is in a drought right now. Um, you know, there is something to be thankful for, a nice warm bed, a hot cup of coffee, a nice candle going, um, and that just smells so nice. So, so you know, get down to the small things. Uh, it doesn't have to be giant things because there's lots of things going on, and I understand that everybody has issues going on, but you don't want to magnify those issues and think of those most. You want to think of the things to be thankful for the most, um, some things that other people around you would really wish that they could have. So I challenge you find something to be thankful for and just every morning um, wake up. Thank you, God, so much for the nice warm bed that I had tonight. And I'm thankful that I'm going to have a nice hot cup of coffee. And those are the kind of things I like to think of during this time of the year. And I try all year round <laughs> to do those kinds of things. So I challenge you to do the same. I have great meal today. I am doing the entire Thanksgiving dinner in a crock pot. So it's not one crock pot. I am using multiple crock pots, but you can make anything in the crock pot. I have all kinds of videos. I will post some pictures. I will leave the links. You can cook, of course, soups and stews and chilies and lasagna and dessert. You can cook everything in your crock pot. So I just challenge you to try this. One of the best things about it is you will not be heating up your kitchen. The other thing that's really good is, like most crock pot things, you put everything in in the morning and you just walk away and you'll come back to it later on and it's just gonna be delicious. The house just sm starts smelling so good. We do, this dinner that I'm making, this Thanksgiving dinner is uh, like for a family of four to six people. Um, of course, if there's less of you, everybody likes leftovers, so don't worry about that. I would still make this amount, but you can make any of these, double any of these recipes. You will just need a larger crock pot, and depending on how many crock pots you have, and the size will depend on how many of these different things you can make. But try it, get the crock pot out this Thanksgiving, put something in there. It's one less thing to worry about. Just you'll have it plugged in over to the side and it will be there for you when you are ready. So let's start our delicious Thanksgiving dinner. So here is my whole turkey breast. It is a turkey breast on the bone. Um, and I got this at Walmart. The cost, so this is about six pounds and it costs about $15. So the uh, cost is a little bit higher per pound when you're buying just the turkey breast. But remember there's less to manage. There's more actual meat that you're eating. So you're getting more um, bang for your buck, so to speak. So I'm gonna take it out of this packaging. And you can see here, yep, it does have some packets. I'm gonna take that out. Always check the cavity of your turkey, even a turkey breast, they do that. So this looks like a good size. This should feed about uh, at least six servings. This probably, the turkey will probably feed more than six. So cooking in a crock pot, it is just not going to get the skin browned. There's just, that's just not what it's gonna do. So what I'm going to do deciding which end to go for it, is I'm gonna put my butter and seasonings and everything under the skin, like this, so that the flavor can get really close to the breast meat. And you could do two choices when this comes out of the crock pot. You can have your oven set to broil, and you can um, 
try to brown up the skin that way, put it back in a dish like this and get it to set it to broil. But I think I am actually just going to get rid of the skin and we'll just cut up the turkey meat. I wanted to leave the skin on a couple things like it, this. It's holding this butter to it. The skin of course has some fat that it will render off as it cooks and give it more flavor as well. So it's definitely good to have it on there I would say. Um, so I'm going to do that. So I'm going to season my turkey up. I'm going to use some garlic powder, uh, some rosemary, dried rosemary, and I'm going to go ahead and just use a little bit of Italian seasoning. Um, because I don't have any thyme um, or the other seasoning it calls for, so I'm just gonna do this. Um, it is different when you do your turkey in the oven compared to the crock pot, so in the crock pot, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on top because it's gonna go down and infuse in the whole um, bird. It's sometimes uh, in the oven, these type of dried herb seasonings can burn on the skin. But again, it cooks different in a crock pot. It's um, moist, more of a moist environment that the crock pot cooks in. So it is different. So definitely do different things for different ways that you're cooking up your turkey. But it's gonna smell so good. I believe this should take about seven hours on low in the crock pot. You want a little something. This is going to give off its own juice, but I'm gonna put a little something. I'm gonna put about one cup of this turkey stock down in the bottom of my crock pot uh, just to get it started so it does have a little something to get started. Some recipes said to cut an onion so it's not sitting directly on the bottom of the crock pot but I feel that that onion is going to fall. <laughs> you know it's not going to stay holding it up. So we're just going to go with the turkey breast, do a breast side up. As you see there's the bone and everything down there so you want it to sit nice and pretty breast side up and I'm gonna try to get it in the middle mine's a little tipped sideways but that's okay I do I can navigate him all right seven hours on low and I cannot wait to show you what it looks like I am going to start on my side dishes I got this super cute uh, this is brand new to me. I just got this. It's a um, Cook's brand. There's three little slow cookers. You could do low, medium, or high and keep warm. I'm sorry, just low, high, and then keep warm. And I just think it's great. They're one and a half quarts each, which is six cups. This is perfect for today. What I'm doing, you know, a meal for um, a full Thanksgiving meal in the crock pot for four people. Um, it is going to work out great. So what I've done is I have, I had three really big apples, two of these smaller apples. I peeled them, that's your preference if you don't mind the peels on them, uh, the skin on them, it'll go even faster for you. So I'm gonna leave them in large slices. They cook pretty fast. This will probably be the fastest thing, and so I'm gonna keep an eye on it and move it to keep warm after about three hours. I'm only doing a quarter cup of sugar. Again, you could do more, but it is, uh, like I said, I want it to be a side dish. Two, what should we put in here? About two teaspoons of cinnamon. But I'm going to put maybe three. And here I have a tablespoon of melted butter. It's not all the way melted, but it will definitely melt as it's cooking. I'm just going to stir them up, like I said, hopefully. See how much I can fit into one of my little crock pots here. So this is great, like I said, for cooking everything. It's also great if you um, have a larger family but to put things like your, um, if you do a warm cranberry compote, again, even this many apples is still probably good for a larger crowd. Another thing is obviously gravy, uh, things like that that you need to keep warm, you can have over to the side ready to go. All right, oh, they got these little handle hangers, not used to it yet, so 
it's still getting there. Perfect, that fits great. These couple, you can uh, throw this in the microwave. I'm sure that'll cook up and be delicious. Um, but there we go. That one's gonna go, like I said, three to four hours. Check on this one um, the most. Let's get these carrots next. I actually put them in there first because I wanted to see these baby carrots. It was um, one and a half pounds, so one package, and I would call it like half of this other package. I'm gonna leave them um, whole the way they are. These are sweet honey um, carrots, so that's good. I'm gonna mix everything in the bowl together. Need about one cup of stock. This is a one third cup measure because you do one third cup of honey. So I just, I don't like to get two different measuring cups dirty. So I just do that. Now I'm gonna put one third cup of honey. Be so delicious. Carrots actually take the, are like one of the longer things to cook. It's still gonna be four hours, but you're gonna do the carrots on high for four hours. Ooh, look at that honey. Yum. Sticky sweet. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see, that looks good. I've got a tablespoon of melted butter. And this one calls for like a half tablespoon of oil, so I'm gonna just go ahead and throw a drop of oil in there as well. Just to, I think it will help everything mix really, really well. And these, yum. Looks so good. Yeah, it is no problem filling up your crock pot. You actually, want to make sure that you have at least halfway full in the crock pot when you're cooking. Otherwise, things tend to burn. You gotta really watch it otherwise. So there you go, carrots ready. Look, we're moving along fast. This one goes on high, four hours. And getting our stuffing ready. So, so we're gonna use about half of this package, uh, somewhere around five, six cups. Try to just get half of the package. Let's see. A little bit more. You are going to add in um, a half a cup of chopped celery. That was only um, one rib of celery for me. Chopped up pretty small, I would say. And a half a cup of chopped onion. If you go somewhere like um, Kroger, you can buy frozen onions in a bag but what I do is I just go ahead and take about three onions and chop them up myself and lay them kind of uh, flat in the freezer bag and once they've frozen the first time then you can clump them together um, but it's so convenient I know it takes a little time that one day but it gets that all out of your way so you mix that up. I got two tablespoons of melted butter. Yes, butter I think is in every single dish on Thanksgiving as it should be. That's why everybody likes it. And using some more of this turkey stock, because again, that's the flavor of the day. I'm gonna do one cup of turkey stock. This might need just a touch over one cup. Depends on how much stuffing I, how much breadcrumbs I put in there. Okay, well, let's see how this one goes. This one is gonna be on low four hours. Oh yes, looking good. And see, you're all the way ready. Now, you know, take the time to get yourself ready, get the house cleaned up, anything else you need, you're done. You're just letting everything go and you are free to do anything else you need to do. So here is everything all finished. Oh my gosh, my house smells amazing. So like I said, your turkey's not gonna get brown, but it smells so good. Moist and tender, juicy, stuffing, carrots, apples. And then these are the easy things that you can do. Everybody's favorite, Bob Evans mashed potatoes, just three minutes in the microwave. 
I love the canned uh, jellied cranberries. And I just used one packet of the Trader Joe's gravy, and I did use the gravy that came with the turkey, uh, just so we have extra to put over top anything anybody wants. But they, I did it. Crock-Pot Thanksgiving. I hope you try it out.